All right, everyone, welcome to week seven of that singles only adventure series that we have been doing. And this is the deck that we were running as of last week. Two Cyber L Tannen, three Cyber Dragon, two Cyber Dragon Dre, three Reflect Bounder, one Cyber Phoenix, one the Light Hex Sealed Fusion, three Cyber Dragon Core, two Cyber Dragon Nashter, three Cyber Dragon Hers, one Fusion Deployment, one Cyber Rev System, one Power Bond, two Evolution Burst, two Machine Duplication, one Cyber Repair Plant, Three Mystical Space Typhoon, three Limiter Removal, one Cyberload Fusion, three Clockwork Knights, two Wabako, and two Dimensional Prisons. And for our extra deck, we were running one Cyber End Dragon, two Cyber Twin Dragons, two Chimera Tech Fortress Dragons, one Divine Arsenal AA Zoo Sky Thunder, two Cyber Dragon Infinity, one Cyber Dragon Nova, one Burl Sword Dragon, two Cyber Dragon Seeger, one Nightmare Phoenix, one IP Mascarena, and one Salomon Great El Mirage. So what we're pulling out of the deck this week would include one Cyber Phoenix, one Cyber Dragon Hers, one Wabako, one Mystical Space Typhoon, and one Evolution Burst. What we are swapping these cards for now are two Cyber Emergency, one Therion Discoliseum, and two Therion King Regulus. Now I, again, as always, I will be placing the price points of these cards around the images. However, I do want to make special note of the Therion King Regulus, the price that is posted is what I actually paid for it at, from roughly the start of the series because I always knew I wanted to include them. I just wasn't sure when I'd be able to. So the price is when I bought it, not what's currently the market price. And then we do got some upgrades this week and those will be bumping up the Boral Sword Dragon, IP Mascarena, and Solomon Great Owl Mirage Gold Rares to Solomon Great Owl Mirage Secret Rare, IP Mascarena Prismatic Rare, and the Boral Sword Dragon Secret Rare that I actually did pull from a pack. So I'm very excited to finally be able to use that one. And now let's throw these into the deck and get to the duels for this week, which will include one with Sin Eater and his Crystal Beast. Four to six days later. All right, guys, for this one, we're doing something a little different this week, and I'm just playing Sin Eater for the entire rest of this episode. Um, here we go. So I start off by getting rid of Reflect Bounder to get out Naster. Naster after that gets Cyber Dragon Core. Cyber Emergency gets me, obviously, Cyber Dragon. I get Cyber Twin out with Power Bond. However, obviously, I take a hit because of Power Bond. Uh, luckily for me, Sin Eater couldn't really do too much this turn. And was only able to get, I think, what was it? Mammoth and Conclave out. I get Infinity with Cyber Twin at Double Power and Cyber Dragon out. And I think that'll be the end of duel number one pretty decisively. Anyways, all I can do this time is uh, summon Reflect Bounder. I really not a whole much else. I have Clockwork Knight in hand, which will come up here in a moment. However, he goes off for quite a bit. Ancient Cities uh, effects that actually help protect in a bit. But anyways, if you want to see a couple extra matches that I did not feature, because we played uh, quite a few actually that day, uh, they will be on his video, I think in like three or four weeks. So I'll eventually link that here in like a card or in the description below. Anyways, Chimera attack with uh, limiter removal, basically just one hit him. I mean, he had some damage, I think, from like uh, Cosmic Cyclone. Here is one of the new cards, Therian Discoliseum, in my hand. Uh, but it is his turn first, so he'll bring out uh, Pegasus. And this is one of the bonus matches, uh, bonus rounds. Because I won 2-0 for the week. Um, I just didn't have a lot of time to edit and duel this week, so that's why it got limited down. So I do apologize, but it is a super short episode for you guys this week. And as you can see, we're going to just keep popping off with Cyber Dragons into Nova. I don't think I go into Infinity, but I believe I end up going into Zeus. So... Which was actually a great idea for me, because then he'll try uh, pull out Rainbow. But, you know, Zeus's effect clears the field and leaves it pretty wide open for me. I have limited removal. I get rid of it to get Regulus into hand, which was lucky. A good, good hit. Because uh, I did want to showcase that off as well. And, uh, yeah, there we go. So, bonus mat, bonus duel number two. Again, Pegasus, always a good starter for a Crystal Beast. Because obviously it gets you another one onto the field. 
Nasher gets rid of Cyber Dragon to special summon itself. My dimensional prison does get banished. No big loss. But uh, hers gets special summoned. No, normal summoned. Machine Doob gets me affinity, leaving me with a power bond for End Dragon. End Dragon at 8,000, one hits, and boom! Just one. So, you know, I mean, happens. But like I said, he does have a couple where he showcases more of what he can do in his future episode. I don't know how long that'll be, but, you know, until it comes out, because he is having to re-record audio for his first episode, which was supposed to come out last Friday. Again, once his videos do go live, I will start linking them off in the description and with cards on my own videos. I do want to make a quick note that I will be giving away a playmat, well, one of my favorites actually, once we hit 2,000 subscribers here on the YouTube channel. So hopefully we can do that soon, because honestly the art on this is great and you guys will see it in action uh, next episode. For those of you who don't want to wait that long, I do have posts on it both on my Twitter and in the community tab here on my channel. You can go give it a look and take a guess as to which one it is. A special thanks to Deadpool, Allison Johnson, Chad the Squirrel, Jasmine Ripley, and Loki Otison for your various lengths on being community members for the channel. Thanks guys, and as always, peace.